This is where the rubber hits the road. When we're reading Paul, we're not just excavating these ancient texts. We're not just talking about ancient ideas, doing archaeology with, with lexemes. We're talking about God. And that means these issues are inevitably in play, whether we like it or not. The living God. Yeah. I'd say apocalyptic readings of Paul, at least when they're put in Douglas's tone of voice, it really is about putting Jesus Christ at the center of it all. That's what it means. It isn't about reading Paul in light of a, an apocalyptic worldview or, mm. or simply in light of apocalyptic literature, mm. as if this theology of, of, of Jewish apocalyptic frames everything that Paul does. That has a part to play, mm. but it is ultimately apocalyptic readings of Paul. It's about putting Jesus Christ front, center, and middle of reading Paul, which is why it's right. Before Jesus shows up and he's the son of God, he's God incarnate, it's not like people walking around saying, well, you know, Jesus is going to show up at any moment, surely. This is the Son of God incarnate. This, is, this has got to be, this is a new thing when God shows up in person. So the claim that apocalyptic people make that something new has happened is right in the heart of the Christian faith, in the, in the heart of the creeds. This is about what sort of God we worship, yeah. right? Yeah. That's, that's important. That, that's what... That's reasonably important. That is what ultimately your book... Is, is most revolutionary in this because it's addressing the question, who is God for us? Right. And, and answering right. that question with utter right. clarity. Right. Let's be clear about it because it's quite an important yeah. question. And, and most of us aren't clear about it. And most of us read Paul in a way that confuses that. Yeah. And he was not confused about that. We have made him confused. And that's, that's the great tragedy of our time, I think. Yeah. The Babylonian captivity of Paul. Yeah.